out of the people pleasing energy. What's up, beautiful people? I'm stepping out of the people pleasing energy. And I thought I did, but there's times um, life situations will show you and the lesson that you actually learned. And life will test you. If you say that you've gotten over something or you have successfully mastered something in your life that used to be a habit, that used to be um, a limitation for you, Life is going to show you and going to test you. I'm like, oh, you said you mastered that? I right, bet I'm going to put you, on, put you in a situation that exercises that muscle that you said you learned. Um, for me, it's the people-pleasing and self-sacrificing myself came from me as a kid desiring affection, desiring to be loved. And, you know, and it was given in the form of a pat on the back or praise. It's receiving praise in exchange for being good or people pleasing or doing what others wanted me to do. And I thought that was dope because I was being of service. And uh, in my life, I could say like, just trying to be of service to others has always been uh, my motivation to keep doing things in life and to get that badge of honor from God, you know? Sacrifice myself, my happiness my peace but in that aspect i didn't gain anything but depletion of myself that's not cool that doesn't serve me that doesn't make me happy and um in the journey of no more people pleasing finding my voice there would be times i would really want to say something but i'll block myself from saying them because it's been a habit for such a long time to be a person who's going to be noble and all those things. But the noblest thing I could do for myself is express my truth, express my honesty, express how I feel. And in my life, I have suppressed that said emotion because it wasn't valued in relationships or my childhood. And I just lessened my voice, suppressed it. And that didn't do nothing but giving me the inability to connect with my emotions internally. Say something happened, I wouldn't process it until it comes back around as a lesson and it's shown in a big way that I can't avoid it. So suppressing your emotions does come from people pleasing and wanting to satisfy others over self and thinking that is your reward. And it's not. So if you ever find yourself in a situation or find yourself not expressing your truth or expressing how you feel, ask yourself, where did that come from? Maybe for a lot of us, I know for me, it came from my childhood. It came from, you know, being heavy in the church, you know? So next time that you feel like you can't speak your truth, just fuck it and go with your gut go with what your spirit is telling you go with your mind is telling you because that could never steer you in the wrong place okay okay listen to yourself the first time you won't have to repeat the lessons over and over again once you achieve the lesson in that situation or the lesson or you get to go to the next tier and this personal spiritual journey is an evolving one a continuous one you never stop learning you never stop growing you know the only limitations that we have is the ones that we put on ourselves you know, or really others put on us and the ones that we put on ourselves, but we are the ones to say, you know what, that is not for me. So others could put limitations on you, but what limitations have you been putting on yourself? Whether it be you thought it was your truth at one point or that what is your truth now? Ask yourself those questions. You will have a bigger breakthrough because you're setting yourself free of the things that hindered you and that inhibited your growth and your self-progress and your self-development. And once you master that, it's going, to, it's going to get stronger and stronger and no one can stop you. So don't let no one close your mouth. Don't let nobody hinder your form of expression because it is authentically you. And that's all you can be at the end of the day. Expressing your truth is rewarding.
and then you'll find the many things that you like, the many things that you don't like, the things that, you know, setting your own standards for yourself when you communicate and when you express yourself, your real authentic self. Until next time, y'all. Ashay.